Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be discussing the Jordan 4 Military Black once again. Specifically, we'll be discussing whether you should sell or hold the Jordan 4 Military Black and why that is. To preface this, if you guys enjoy these types of videos regarding the market, reselling, and even info on how to acquire these limited products, be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications. This way you're always 100% updated. Furthermore, for more urgent updates like the recent shock drops we've seen, follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10, and also personals for you. And of course, for early information before they actually occur, follow Endurance twitter for updates on the next restock for those who don't know the jordan 4 military black releases on may 21st and that is tomorrow retail will be 210 dollars stock between all sides combined worldwide is just over 100,000 pairs which is about average for jordan 4 so don't expect these to be easy to get given their demand in order to determine if the jordan 4 military black will be a fruitful hold we will cover an estimated range of what the sneaker will settle at after the drop, and also when the shipments come in, essentially all the pairs go into circulation, whether they're expected to increase post-drop or even hypothetically decrease, along with how much specifically over specific periods of time, and finally, what type of margin are we looking at for these in terms of holding, not the retail to resale initial margin, but rather just the hold margin over X period of time. Basically, are these going to be worth your time or not, even if they do end up going up? Kicking it off, let's discuss the estimated range that these should be settling at. To begin with, again, stock on these adjustments about average for Jordan 4 general release, so that in itself won't have much of a unique effect, contrary to a release such as the Jordan 4 Lightning, which had huge demand but also huge stock. Pre-sale and bids are very impressive for general release Jordan, although this video is being recorded before flex app reservations go out, so we may see a decrease in price around later tonight to tomorrow morning, as well as an influx in the already very impressive sale volume. Evidently, demand on these is very notable. This is certainly one of the most demanded Jordan 4s that we have seen in a little while. Hence, with just about average stock and great demand, there should be sufficient room for profit with a good margin, especially in the larger sizes, despite the $10 increase of the retail now at $210. Now, regarding a specific range, prices have already seen the vast majority of their pre-drop decrease since this is the night before, although we might see a little more after the flex app reservations this leaves the current average right now at about 315 dollars for sizes 8 to 12 but of course this is only the pre-drop average and will change we normally see a notable change post us drop this is when we normally experience what i like to refer to as the impulsivity effect yes you know what i'm referring to by now as we discussed this very frequently yet it almost always still occurs to some degree regarding the impulsivity effect if you haven't watched my seller hold videos before sneaker drops specifically impact human impulsiveness significantly after an individual fails to acquire that desired product due to insufficient supply and too much demand therefore on average we normally see about a five to ten percent increase of the pre-drop prices post drop now that five to ten percent is not not always the case, such as when a sneaker is slightly overvalued. Since I am making today's video before Flex App Reservations, I think they may be slightly overvalued right now. Later tonight, you'll most likely see a decent drop in price to tomorrow morning. Whatever they end up pre-drop though, regardless, I'm still going to provide you the value I believe these will reside at post-drop given their stock and current demand. Despite the high pre-sale, I'd have to expect that the post-drop average will not deviate too much from what we're at right now. Hence, despite Flex App reservations still having yet to go out, I'd only expect about a 5-10% to decrease from these current prices we're seeing right now. Now. So, for approximation, we could say 7% right in the middle. In the hypothetical case that it actually is a 7% decrease in price, this would leave prices at $293 on average. Now, that's not to say that these are going to experience a negative impulsivity effect because there's a good chance, again, that these will drop further in price later tonight to tomorrow morning before the drop, so it might actually be a positive. Regardless, an average of $293 does seem to be reasonable given the average stock and well above average demand. Since that's an average Average, the big sizes may be touching the low 300 range, while the smaller sizes should still be in the upper 200 range, which should still leave more than sufficient room for profitability. Remember though, this is temporary. Now let's discuss what price will look like once the shipments go out in that one to two week range. During this period, the vast majority of pairs will be going into circulation, aside from the amount of pairs that already went out through in-store pairs and general early pairs like exclusive access. Contrary to a release like the Lightnings with immense stock, given that these have just about average stock, I'd expect only about an average decrease of about 10%. This would hypothetically leave prices at about $264 on average, and again, large sizes will remain the best, so those may still hover in the high 200 range, while the smaller ones should reside in the mid 200 range. Now that the average price range 
range that those points in time are evident though, let's discuss whether they're expected to increase from the post-shipment prices or even, hypothetically, continue to decrease after that two-week range. When it comes to these, I feel a pretty useful comparison would be the Jordan 4 White Oreo. Not only did they have a very similar color scheme, being primarily white with gray accents, but the demand was also on a very similar level pre-drop, as well as the stock being nearly the same. These Oreo 4s initially ended up almost right around with what we're expecting these military blacks to end up at, post drop in the high 200 to low 300 range, and post shipment in the mid to high 200 range. It has not even been a year since these Oreo 4s have released, and they have already seen over a 50% ROI on the majority of all sizes. This was certainly an ideal hold, and I do see that same potential when it comes to these Jordan 4 military blacks. I don't expect it to occur as rapidly as it did on the Oreo 4s, but over the course of a year, I am expecting a notable increase in value after that post shipment trough. Finally, regarding the hold margin on these, essentially, are they actually going to be worth your time even if they do end up increasing? Well, as we did see on those Oreo 4s, prices on those are already in the mid to upper 400 range, allowing for a great ROI from their lows of about 270. If we do indeed see lows of about 270 on these military blacks, I certainly believe that there is more than sufficient room for a very good ROI, even if these don't end up in the upper 400 range, which I don't believe is a very likely, but it is certainly possible. Hence, I would rate these an 8 out of 10 hold, assuming they do hit those lows of about 270 or even lower. If for whatever reason they stay above 300, then I'd still rate these above average at perhaps a 5.5 to 6 out of 10. I certainly see really good potential on these, given the demand that we're seen right now, especially if they end up in that 270 range post shipment. Therefore, I do plan to hold pairs myself as well as rock in a personal because I think these are pretty fire. Let me know what you guys think though. Also, just a note in general for anyone considering holding any items who do have low capital, you should never hold any items if you don't have sufficient capital to go for as many drops as possible at your full potential without holding back. If you do need money to go for all drops, try to sell these as soon as possible before the post shipment prices. Let me know what you guys are planning to do with your pairs down in the comments below since this is a discussion at the end of the day i can't predict the future that's just my personal analysis based on the data that i've acknowledged we have a lot of brilliant minds watching the video right now so i implore you to leave your notions down in the comments below but anyway that will conclude it for today feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed or perhaps if you learned a thing or two subscribe and enable post notifications this way you stay 100 updated on all hyped releases also you can feel free to check out the links in the description below for liable fast residential proxies and pre-verified nike sneakers or Adidas accounts. Also, feel free to follow Endurance's Twitter for updates on restocks or key giveaways. And the same goes for Gargantua if you want to keep up with the progress or restocks. Last but not least, make sure to follow Keith Adam 10 and also Personals for you. This way you guys stay updated and all urgent info like I was discussing today. With that though, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day and of course, good luck on copying these or if you already copped, congratulations.